Hey guys, the objective for this video is to perform an example using pipe networks. So we've got a question here, we need to determine the flow rate into and out of each uh, reservoir. Um, each uh, pipe here has the same diameter of 0.1 meters, um, but they've got different lengths. So the first one's 100 meters, 50 meters, and 40 meters, and they've also got different elevations. So the first thing we essentially need to do is work out where the flow is going. So it's obviously going out of A, but the question is, is the flow going out of A, A out of A and um, into B and C, or is the flow going out of A and out of B and into C? So there's two different ways that the flow could be going. We need to assume one, check our results, um, see if we get uh, an answer that makes sense. If we don't, then we'll need to assume that it's the other uh, mechanism. So first thing, um, we're going to first assume that it's coming out of um, one, um, it's coming out of A and it's coming out of B and going into C. So that means that Q1 plus Q2 is going to be equal to Q3. So the combined flow rate but out of A and out of B is going to be equal to that flow rate that's going into C. And because we're dealing with the same areas here, that also means that V1 plus V2 is going to be equal to V3. We just got the constant constant diameter, means we have a constant area of our pipe, which means that um, we can uh, set the... 